Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to That Is What I Am Talking About. Come around, sit on down, and enjoy the show. Bob A. Dingleman here. Welcome to part two of Relationships. Relationships. We still have Quisha here. She's helping me out here in Noah's absence. And we're going to get right to it. Welcome to That Is What I Am Talking About. All right, let's go straight to the phones and see who we have today. But before I do that, excuse me, Quisha, how is everything for you today? Hey, Mr. Dingman, how you doing? I'm so happy you had me today. I'm Quisha, I'm Quisha, I'm here, I'm here. I'm so happy, I'm here, I'm so happy, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm so happy, I'm here. Quisha, calm down. We understand that you're happy, and we thank you for helping us out again today and realizing some of your dreams and helping us out. But just calm down a little bit. All right. Well, we're glad you're here. We're going to get straight to the phones and see what people have to say about relationships in general. Sting, man, before you do that, I I want to talk about some stuff first. I want to talk about some stuff first. You always talk to Noah first before the show. Why you can't talk to me first? I just want to talk about some stuff first, Mr. Tingley. All right, Quisha. We will will talk about some stuff first. uh, What is it that you'd like to talk about right now? Well, first I want to talk about this basketball player. This, this dude, talk, Jason, Jason College. You, you know that basketball player? He talking about he coming out of class. You know who I'm talking about, Mr. Yes, Dingleman? I'm familiar with him. Uh, I remember him as a player. Yes, I've seen him before. Well, the other day I see him on the news talking about he coming out. He coming out of the closet. What? What are you talking about? I think he lying, Mr. Dingleman. I think he lying. What are you talking about? He coming out the closet. Well, Quisha. Well, Quisha, what do you mean he's lying, uh... Why would he lie about something like that? Uh, what do you mean he's lying? I think he's lying, Mr. Stinkman. I just think he, he wants some attention. Everybody always wants attention. They always want to be on the news. And people talk about them in reality shows and all that. They just want somebody to talk about them. Ain't nothing wrong with him. I, I, he's straight. Why he lying? Uh, Quisha, I, I'm not certain that I understand. But, but why would he lie? I, I don't understand what he would gain by that. Well, I think he, he just don't know. He, uh, I have seen this girl on TV who told me she was his fiance for seven years. What? I seen her. No wonder. She she turned that man off. She, she, he need to get a real woman like me. I can help my Mr. Dingman. I can help my he can't see me. I'll straighten him out right now. Well, Quisha, I, I think I don't think that you understand how it works necessarily. You're not going to straighten him out. Uh, he's He does not want what you have to offer. So um, I, I just don't think that uh, that's going to work. Well, it used to work. He was with her for seven years. So something must have been good. Something went wrong. She didn't know what she was doing. She didn't know how to handle it. I know how to handle it, and I know how to work it, Mr. Dingman. You should see, sometimes I just get on down. Oh, Quisha, nope. No, 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 no. You're my guest host. No, no, no. No, no, no. That's another show, another discussion. We're not going there. We're not talking about anything that you're going to do or that you do. Keep that to yourself. Uh, uh, but again, Quisha, I, 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 again, I don't think that uh, you have what he wants. So, uh, 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 to each his own, and, and may many happy days follow Mr. Collins. And hopefully everything is right with him. Yeah, but... What? All you gotta do is look at me and look at her and then he'll say, Okay, yeah, I made a mistake. I told people that. I, I shouldn't have said that. I, I think I like... What, 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 what? Quisha got off. I want to try hard for a little while before I be making announcements like that. Well, uh, I'm not sure. I don't know what he's done in his life. But I'm pretty sure he came at his own decision in his own time. So we'll just leave it at that. If we ever get him on the air, I'll ask him... And I'll give you a chance to talk to him and see if you can talk him into what you have to offer. But uh, we'll just take the man at his word. Take the man at his word all you want. Look at that ex-girlfriend. Look how she look. Quisha, Quisha, come back, Quisha. Come on back. Come on home. Come, 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 come. All right. All right. Well, at any rate, uh, again, hopefully Mr. Collins is good with himself and we're good too. All right, here we are talking about relationships on That Is What I Am Talking About. And we're getting ready to go to the phones. But we're going to take a break right now and then we'll come back. We've got plenty of callers jam-packed on the line to talk about relationships. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dial. This is Bob A. Dingleman here. That is what I'm talking about. And remember, I am bad. <laughs> Right. 
you are listening to that is what I am talking about. Bob A. Gentleman here with my guest host, Quisha, talking about relationships. All right, well, on the line already, <laughs> one of my favorite calls, it is the Reverend Goldstein, my friend. How are you today? This is the Reverend Goldstein. Mr. Dingo, I heard you talking to Quisha about that, that basketball player who, who uh, uh, talking all that stuff the other day. I'm glad you brought this up. I've been wanting to talk about this on the radio. I am glad you brought this up to talk about today, talking about relationships. Uh, okay, uh, Reverend, what what is it that you'd like to offer about that? Uh, I, I, I guess a, a, as a Reverend, you have a certain perspective coming from the biblical perspective. So I guess you have something to say about that. But what do you have to say about relationships in Mr. Collins? Well, I ain't coming from no biblical perspective. I'm coming from my perspective. I don't understand how he can say he don't like that, that he like the other stuff. I just don't understand it. As good as it is, what in the world is he talking about? Well, Reverend, I'll, I'll say to you, like I said to Quisha, it, it's not about uh, this or that. He likes what he likes, and, you know, that's just uh, uh, that's just what it is. I don't understand uh, what the problem is. Uh, I don't understand. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, he likes what he likes. You like what you like. That's just what it is. Yeah, yeah, da, da, yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, uh, uh, Mr. Dingerman, as good as it is, how can you not like it? Lord, 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 I told you before, if God made something better than that, he kept it for himself, because good gracious alive, that is the best, the goodest thing in the world. Lord, 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 ooh, Lord, mm, mm, mm. I love it so. Lord, I love it. Oh, my good Lord. The Reverend, love it, love uh, it Reverend, so. Oh, Reverend, okay, uh, calm down. <laughs> I, I, you like it a lot. I get it. Wow, that's uh, pretty good of you. you. You're very, very emotional there. Uh, hmm, well, that's good. I imagine Mr. Collins feels the same way about what he likes. So, hey, uh, their uh, variety is the spice of life. Uh, everything that, uh, you know, differences make the world go round. So, hey, that's a wonderful thing. Good for him. Yeah, variety and whatever. I'm just telling you, as good as it is, I don't see how nobody can say, oh, my goodness, I don't like that. I want some of that. What? Is you crazy? As good as that thing is? Boy, Lord. Uh, I, 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 I just can't. Uh, I'm speechless here because it's, it's just so good. It's just it's, it's good like, like Campbell's soup. Uh, uh, Dingo, it, it's good. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I, I understand your passion, uh, uh, Reverend, but, uh, I, I just don't know what to do. Yeah, Reverend, it, it's, it's good. I don't know what, what Dingo talking about. Trying to take up for this man. He need to come over here. I can show him how good it is. Well, because, what? Ooh, what show, I got, calm yeah. down. Calm down. I, we're not going there. I keep telling you, calm down. Well, uh, uh, Quisha, uh, uh, speaking of that, since, uh, you say that, uh, what you got going on now? The Reverend would like... Reverend, Reverend, you are a man of the cloth. Please calm down. What are you saying? I, I, I just know that you're not saying what I think you're saying. Reverend and Quisha, please stop it. We're not doing that on but this you're show. telling me to stop. I ain't saying nothing. He talking about it. He want to talk to me. Ain't nobody stunned his old ass. Quisha, that is not nice. Oh, old ass. What? Girl, what? You, you talking to me? Girl, you know what the Reverend do? What? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's calm ourselves down. Let's calm down. Reverend, you are a married man. You are a man of the cloth. You have to set a better example than what you're setting. That's up right. You. A better example. Well, you trying to talk to me? I'm going to be your daughter or your granddaughter. What you talking about? The rim done knocked them all down. Big and small, young and old. So I don't know what you talking about. Young girl, you come out here, I'll show you. i drop this thing Reverend, up on you and you I am appalled at what you're saying. Oh, my goodness gracious, Reverend. Ah, let me put you on hold. Good gracious. Quisha, may, uh, compose yourself here. Are you composed now? Are you composed, I'm composed? now? I will never uncompose. I don't know what you're talking about. What you talking to me for? You better talk to Pops over there. Pops getting all hot over there. <laughs> Pops getting hot. Pops, you ain't the only one, Pops. Quisha got it going on. They, they love this thing here, Pops. They want it. They want it. They want it. They want it. No, want it. They want it. They want it. They want it. No, can't have it. You can't have it. No, 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 no. They want it. Quisha. No, no, they Quisha, want it. Quisha, come no, on back. They want calm it. down, Quisha. Calm down. Okay, Quisha. All right, Reverend, are you ready to talk now? Are you calm or are you ready to go? Huh? 
I am, this is the Ram Goldstein. I apologize to everybody. Uh, a, a momentary lapse in the flesh has caused the Ram to sound like I have backslid. The Ram is all right. I have not backslid. I am all right. And everything is good with the Ram. The Ram is still a leader of the flock trying to save your soul. So if you would like some spiritual cleansing, you come to the Redeemer on high who looks down low. And if you don't act right, you know where you're going to go, touch, incorporate it. Quisha, you're going straight to hell. Reverend. Oh, Reverend. <laughs> Reverend, Reverend, Reverend. I got to let you go now. I appreciate you calling in. And once again, please call again. This is Bob A. Dingleman on That Is What I Am Talking About. And we'll be back. This is Bob A. Dingleman on That Is What I Am Talking About, and we are talking about relationships. And we have another caller on the line, Edward from Jamaica. Good day, Edward. How are you today? This is Edward from Jamaica. You talk about relationship on the show. So I come on the show with no idea. We talk. We have some problems in our relationship. So we want to talk and let everybody know that even though I come on the show, I may not be perfect, but I want everybody to know that we are working at the relationship. And want everybody to work hard at the relationship because we know in America, you have a lot of divorce and everybody not doing the right thing. So we must listen to Edward from Jamaica to know how to do it right. All right, Mr. Dingaman. Uh, the Edwards, that, that Edward, excuse me, that is fine. Uh, what is it that you'd like to discuss? Uh, you said you have your wife. Uh, what is it that you'd like to discuss? Edward, I'd like to tell everybody that the man is the head of the household. And if you don't listen to the man, then the relationship will not be the right thing in America. Listen to Edward. In Jamaica, we know that the man is the head of everything. And the woman understand that the man is the head of everything. And woman must not Try to overtake the man, and then when you do that, then everything don't go right. So listen to Edward, listen to Jamaica, and listen to the man. Everything will be all right. Don't worry about a thing. Every little thing will be all right. That's what Bob Marley say. Bob Marley say that, and everything is all right. So listen to Edward, listen to Bob Marley. Every little thing going to be all right. Well, that is interesting, Edward, that you are saying that the man is the head, and... Uh... He controls everything, and everything's going to be all right. So, well, if that's how it works in your household, if your wife is good with that, then we're good with that. You know, everybody's uh, life doesn't work that way. But if that's how yours works, that's a good thing. So, I mean, for you anyway. So, uh, you said your wife is on the line. Uh, is she? Does she want to say something, or are you speaking for her? You know, it doesn't matter, but just want to give everybody an equal opportunity to speak. My wife is here, and she's sitting right here next to me. And she know that the man is the head of the household and everything. And she must do what the man say. If she don't do it, then she going to have problem. And she don't want no problem because in the marriage, the man is the head. And so I going to let her talk for a minute just to say, you know, back up what I say. And let everybody know that our marriage uh, work very well because the man is the head and she know that. And everything is good. Uh is listen to Edward from Jamaica. All right. Uh, uh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, uh, let, uh, let your wife come on and speak. No problem. All right, uh, Cindy. Get on, get on, get on the line and tell everybody that everything good in our house and the relationship Edward, you know, good. Stop, Edward. Just stop it, okay? What, what are you talking about? You got me on here talking like this. You want, you want me to tell everybody, you know, the head and everything. Edward, you know where it's a 50-50 partnership. Come on, Edward. Don't, don't be silly. Don't be silly on the radio. Don't, don't call me with this foolishness, Edward. Everything is good, but just don't don't act like that. You know, everything is good, but don't act like a fool, Edward. Woman, you don't come on the radio and call your husband a fool for the whole world to hear. What is wrong with you, woman? You don't do that. Uh, Edward, and it, it seems as though there, there are things that uh, you may want to discuss with your wife off the air before we continue the conversation, uh, Edward. Nothing off the air, Mr. Dingerman. We talk right here on the air. 
Listen, Mr. Dinkle Man, I, we listen to your show all the time. I, I'm so entertained by all your little characters. They're so cute and everything. Uh, but uh, I don't know what Edward's talking about. You know, we're good at home and everything. Everything is good, you know. Relationship is good. You know, I just think he's a little high strung and everything. And so, you know, we are, we're all right. Everything is good, Edward. I don't know. You know what? What do you want me to call in and say that you're the king and I'm a little servant? Come on, Edward. You're king. You're, you know, you're watching too much TV, Edward. <laughs> you're watching too much TV. No, woman. You don't come on the radio and talk to your king like we. Oh my goodness! Lot of mercy, lot of mercy. I, 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 I apologize, Mister Dingaman. I don't know what wrong, what, what wrong with this woman. She, she not uh, in her right mind right now today. Oh, Mister Dingaman, I, I apologize. She, she crazy. Me, me not know what wrong with her today. Uh, okay, Edward, uh, we'll take your word for it. Sounds like she's pretty aware and self-assured and everything. And uh, you just have a difference of opinion. That happens in life, Edward. And you know. Everything is good. I think you 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 sound like you got a nice woman there, and you should be happy about that. And uh, everything is going to be all right. Yeah, Mister Dingham, everything's going to be all right. I don't know what's wrong with Edward. He's he's acting a little strange today. You know, we got to go and, and just have a, a little coffee and sit down and just relax and you know foot foot massage or something. Edward, just calm down. What's wrong with you? This woman never talked to me this way. She come on the radio and talk this way on in front of the old wide world. Make it seem like it's like this. It's not like this. Cindy, I, I don't appreciate you get on the radio and make Edward look like a hypocrite. It make me look bad. I, I don't appreciate that. Edward, okay. But it doesn't sound like Cindy is from Jamaica. Uh, um, where is Cindy from? Uh, it, you know, uh, or maybe she's been over here a while? No, Cindy, Cindy not uh, Jamaican. She, her parents are from Czechoslovakia. And uh, uh, Cindy been in America since she been born, and so she is very Americanized, and that's the problem, Mr. Dingleman. You come over here to America and take on the American ways, and then you get a woman who act like this with no respect for her husband, it the man in the head of the house and everything. Edward, what are you talking about? You know who I was when you married me, Edward. Don't come on the radio and, and, and try and, and, and misrepresent, Edward. You're acting crazy, Edward, okay? You know. No more goody time if you keep acting like that, Edward. I wanted some goody time, but now I don't know. I'm out of the mood now. I don't know if I want goody time now. <laughs> I want no more goody time, Edward. You've been talking all that noise, Edward. You've been talking all that noise. Black America, black America. Yeah, Edward, I'll be here. You've been talking all that. We don't appreciate that what you be talking about. Nah, you're white. She ain't even black. She's white. And she's telling you. She ain't having it, Edward. She ain't Quisha, having it. Quisha, calm down. Calm down, Quisha. Um, Edward, yeah, it looks like you got an issue on, on your hand, Edward, so you might want to get off the phone and go and take care of that. We hate to be in the middle of something that will cause you s some problems. This is Edward from Jamaica. No problem for Edward from Jamaica. He handled his household the way it's supposed to be handled. And Cindy, I don't appreciate you come on the radio and talk about the goody time that we have in the share in private. Now everybody go and know what, uh, what I talk about and what go on in my house. Because of you, woman. We don't know why you do that. Oh, Edward, calm down. You're, you're just really pushing my buttons, and you're not going to get any goody time. You keep it up, Edward. You better stop it. Yeah, Edward, looks like you better stop it. <laughs> Edward, you sound crazy. Girl, Cindy, do it, girl. Girl, girl, you better do it, girl. Straight him out, because all these men know they think they be running, so they don't run none. They know we got what you want, and if you ain't right, you ain't going to get it. Real time, you know you're going to know which way to go and all this stuff. Well, I say, me over here, and if you don't act right, you ain't getting none of this here. All right, nah. Quisha. Okay, Quisha, that's very entertaining. Thank you for sharing that piece. Uh, Edward, uh, I'm going to let you and Cindy go, but we appreciate you calling in and taking a minute to share. And hopefully everything works out with you. This is Bob A. Dingleman on That Is What I Am Talking About. And we'll be right back. All right, we are back on That Is What I Am Talking About, talking about relationships here with Quisha. Quisha, say hi. Hi, everybody. It is Quisha. It is Quisha. It is Quisha. It is Quisha. When the boys see Quisha. Quisha. Come on now. G-rated. G-rated Quisha. G-rated. G-rated. I'm sorry, Mr. Dingleman. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. Okay. Hello, everybody. It's Quisha. It's Quisha. I'm so happy to be here. All right, Quisha. Everybody, this is Bob Dingleman. We're talking about relationships, as I said, and we are going to go to the phones. Oh, I haven't heard from him in a while. Here is another regular caller, ladies and gentlemen. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have Lolo. Lolo, how are you today? That Lala. Da na na haka here. That Lala. I da da na da. Da na 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 haka here na da da na. Oh, uh, hello, Lola. What, what's wrong? You're, you're, is there something wrong? Uh, you're speaking differently today. Uh, how are you? Uh, but what's the matter? Uh, Lolo is saying that you're saying that you have a girlfriend as well. Is, is there something wrong? You, you, you're, you're speaking differently, Lola. What's, what's the matter? I not done. I had not done. Not done. Hey, I had not done the other day. That 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 I I got there him too. And then I got there there. You have a girlfriend. Well, that's wonderful, Lolo. Everybody needs to have somebody. You know, that's wonderful. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I got I got I went on the I went on the hot hot the other day. I went on the other hot. And they had done need to do that the and then and then I had not done. Uh, uh, excuse me, Lolo. <laughs> boy, what you talking about, boy? You don't know nothing about that. What you talking about, boy? What you doing, boy? What you, you don't know nothing about that. Lolo, uh, I didn't understand. You said something. You you went to your girlfriend's house. Uh, what happened? What, what, what's what's the matter? I don't know about that man. How? They told me he did. He don't know about that. Then I heard nothing. Uh, huh. Um, hmm. I'm I'm not following. Let's take a minute. Don't be trying to act like you don't know what's going on. You heard what he just said. She told him to get on down there, slurp that thing up, boy. Quisha, no, no, no. That is not what he said, Quisha. Don't put words in his mouth. He's an impressionable young man. Do not do that, Quisha. Don't do that, Quisha. Don't do that, Quisha. I don't know, huh? I don't do not that. I don't know that girl there, huh? And then I heard my tongue. I don't, 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 and then I hang up. Miss Dingman, you can act crazy all you want. I know what he's talking about. Boy, go get it. Get it, boy. Get it, boy. Get it. Get it. Get it, boy. Oh, get all right, Quisha. All right. Okay. Uh, all right, Lola. Well, well, we hope that your tongue feels better. We appreciate that you called in. And, and it's so good to hear that you have a girlfriend. And I hope that you're treating her well and everything is working out for you. Yeah, yeah. I, I did her good. I, I, I did her. I, I did my dad. I did my dad. I go get my dad. I did her. 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 And she said, okay, she gave me $2 at my check. I love, I love her. She gave me $2 at my check. You, you said she gives you $2 out of your check, and, and you love her, and and, and that's good for you, I, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They need $2 out of my check. I, I love her. She said, she said, she help me. She said, care of me. I, I, I love her. She <laughs> I hurt my tongue. All right, uh, Lolo. Uh, that's, that's wonderful that you love her, and she takes care of you. That's a good thing. I hope that... Uh, He's not taking all of you. Don't be hating. That girl just trying to get hers on. She just trying to take take care of her business. Don't be trying to mess up what they got. If they going good, he all right. He all right. Let him get her his check. What's wrong with you? Got their business. Quisha, calm down. Um, uh, we're having a discussion here, so don't don't do that. That's not that's not nice. We're on the radio. You got. I'm trying to help you become a little more professional. So just calm down. You can disagree, but just don't just don't act that way. All right. Yeah, I'm just saying you hate you hate no people. You trying to tell her to me get him get get that money. She gotta get that money. We work hard for that money. Shoot. What we do? We gotta get we gotta get our uh, get money. Get light bill paid and the real pay. Shoot. You ain't gonna be just getting this for free. All right, Quisha. I'm not sure. Uh, we don't advocate uh, pay for favors, and so I hope that's not what you're saying. But uh, at any rate, I want someone to protect Lolo. He's an impressionable young man. All right, I got, I got a man too. I, I love my dog. I, I got a dog man too. I don't know how. I hate my dog. All right, Lola, we, we understand you, you hurt your tongue, and uh, we hope that your tongue feels better. Yeah, I got, I have my tongue. I got a dog man too. And then I hate my dog. All right, Lola, I, I get it. Please, you don't have to. Just please, please, you don't have to keep doing that. They don't have to me. What are you talking about? I, I'm saying you don't have to keep saying that, Lolo. Calm down, Lolo. Oh my goodness, Lolo. All right. Well, there's no, there's not need for you to to say any of those things. But Lolo, we thank you for calling. Please call again. 
Uh, all right, we got another caller on the line. Oh, hmm, interesting. You want to call in right now. That's very interesting. Yeah, no, what you want? What you calling in here for? You quit. You want to get your own show. Get your own show. I be trying to call in here and mess up my gig. I got this a lot. No, no. You you know say you don't know how to call nobody back? Don't be trying to call in here now. Uh, Bob, Bob, listen, Bob, Bob. Bob, I'm sorry, Bob. I, I want my job back, Bob. I, I, I just had a soul search and I had to think about it, Bob. And, uh, and Bob, uh, I've come to my senses, Bob. And uh, I love the show. I love everything we did, Bob. Don't do this to me, Bob, 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 Bob. Please, Bob, please, Bob, please, 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 Bob, please, Bob, please. Noah, I'm not sure, Noah. You're, you're, uh, hmm. Noah, you, you've hurt my feelings. And, uh, Bob is, uh, still sad. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's right. You hurt his feelings. You're so stupid, Noah. Get out of here. I thought you were sexy that time. We were going to do something. You know what I'm saying, Noah? You, you stupid. Don't be calling here. Don't be calling here, Noah. No, 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 no. You can't get it. No, get it. Don't get it. No, no, don't get it. No, no, don't get it. Quisha, calm down. It. It's, it's okay. It's okay, Quisha. Just calm down, Noah. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk off the air and everything, but, uh, you know, we are, uh, we have to talk, you know, Noah, you, you really, you stung me to the core. No, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how I can help you out here, but, uh, we thank you for calling. No, Bob, don't hang on me, Bob, 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 listen, Bob, 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 listen, Bob, let's talk, Bob, you know, Bob, Bob, this is me, this is Noah, Noah, Bob, Bob, me, Bob, Noah, me, me, Bob, Bob, Noah, beep, Bob, beep, Bob, beep, Bob, beep, Bob, Bob, Bob. No, what what is wrong with you? Are are you are you are you drunk or something? What's wrong with you? Nah, he ain't no drunk. He don't drink no alcohol. He a punk. I try to get him to drink some mad dog. He don't even drink. He's talking about he wants some Kool Aid. Get him out here. He's all stupid. I've been hanging up on you, Noah. Bye, Noah. Bye, Noah. Quisha, Bye, Noah. Bye, Noah. Bye, Noah. Bye, Noah. Thank you, Quisha. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all that we have for you today on relationships part two. Please stay tuned for more of that. Is what I am talking about with Bob A. Dingleman. Remember, you can catch me on WDROPDE4445 on your internet drive at Bob A. Dingleman on Twitter and Bob A. Dingleman at gmail.com. We appreciate everybody for calling in, listening in, and supporting. That is what I am talking about. We'll see you the next time. And remember, I am <laughs> the fictional characters on this show are based on real life events. These characters are owned and created by Golden Airs Entertainment in partnership with the Jimmy Williams show, All Rights Reserved. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to That Is What I Am Talking About. Come around, sit on down, and enjoy the show. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to That Is What I Am Talking About. I'm Bob A. Dingleman, and as always, I am bad. (laughs) Noah is, uh... Taking a break today, ladies and gentlemen. He's taking a break for a while. As a matter of fact, we had a little dust up, and Noah has decided that he wants to try and branch out on his own and become a host. He does not like the way that we do it here, and so I had to let him find himself, and I do not want to hold him back. Noah, we wish you well. Hopefully, everything works out for you. So today we have some guest hosting going on. And my first guest host today, ladies and gentlemen, will be Quisha. Quisha is going to be the guest host. And uh, we're going to go about our 
thing today, and hopefully we can help somebody because today we're going to talk about relationships. So everybody, say hello to Quisha. Quisha, say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. This is Quisha. I'm so happy to be here, Mr. Dingleman. You just don't understand. I had told you I might regret because I, I used to do music and stuff, and I always wanted to be on the radio. So I'm glad you let me come on the radio, and then we're going to talk about relationships, and then, you know, I'm going to help everybody because, you know, I know a lot about relationships because, you know, I'm in a relationship, but I had just told Mike he got to go. So, uh, you know, Noah my boo now, but I'm not going to talk about Noah on the radio, Bob, because, you know, I'm sorry, Noah. Sorry, Noah. Quisha, come back, Quisha, calm down, calm down. We understand your affinity for Noah, and uh, we will not uh, hold that against you. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get to talking about, you know, we do a strange news segment here, and we're going to look at what is going on around the world. And Quisha, help me out here, and we'll talk about strange news and... Uh, and uh, we'll see what's going on. So, Quish, I want you to help me out here. We're going to talk about the news. Uh, what's first? Oh, do that story. That story about that Facebook baby. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, in India, a grandfather sold his newborn son on Facebook. Wow, uh, that is just unfortunate. And hmm, he was arrested because... Uh, you know, he was arranging to sell the baby from his own daughter shortly after she gave birth. What in the world is going on? Yeah, what's going on? What kind of stuff is that? How was somebody going to take, take my baby with me? Some, these people are crazy. These people are crazy. Boy, these, oh, I don't know what's going on in the world. These people are just crazy. Yes, it seems that the grandfather stole the baby from the nursery and struck up a deal, and uh, he was getting ready to, uh, uh, you know, sell the baby, took the baby to his own home, and, uh, hmm, the baby was actually sick. This is actually a sad story. The baby was sick, but they found him and took him back to the hospital, and uh, even the guy who was going to buy the baby. They, you know, it was a strange thing, but hopefully everything works out for that baby. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You think that's crazy? Oh, I don't know what to say, Mr. Stingley. I just want something. Boy, whew, girl. Anyway, next story, Mr. Stingley. Let's talk about this lady. Um, in South Carolina, she's just crazy. These people are crazy. Yes, in South Carolina, a lady went to a middle school in March. And her son was complaining about things in school. And so she went to the school and she slapped a child that she thought was her son. She apologized to the child and then started slapping her own son. <laughs> Needless to say, she was arrested. Uh, the lady's strange. She's strange. People are strange. She slapped a, a sick baby and thought it was her son. Oh, my God. I wish somebody would come to school hit my child. They're going to have to go through me. Hit my child if you want to. Hit my child if you want to. See what I do. Hit my child if you want to. See what I do to you. We have another story of a father who allegedly fed his two-month-old daughter bleach because a friend from school told him that it was a great cure for breathing trouble. This story... Hmm. Bleach! Everybody know you don't feed no children bleach. You give them ammonia. Oh, uh, Quisha, I'm not sure that you give them ammonia. I think that those are chemicals and they can damage the... Uh, they're poison. Quisha, they're poison. Poison? Ain't no ammonia poison. I get my children ammonia all the time. They feel good, they breathe good, they talk good. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> ammonia? That help you out good? Make it to the bathroom? Shoot. Quisha, I love ammonia. Um, hmm. All right, Quisha, uh, let's talk about that off the air. And let's just say you were just making a joke. Making a joke? Ain't nobody joking? I know I get my children. I get my children with Indeed. Anybody want to come, come to my house? You know what I want to come with I stay? See what I do? Come on to my house. I got something right, for you. Quisha, let's just say, um, shh. All right. A family dollar store uh, banned a lady, and uh, she decided to come back and started to pepper spray the, the workers there because they banned her from, for stealing. And uh, she brought her own child and said, you know what to do, baby, spray it. And her child sprayed the employees too with pepper spray. This lady is crazy, 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 crazy. And now she's endangering her child as well. Pepper spray? You don't use no pepper spray when you go out to the store? You're just supposed to bring some fire, some matches, and an aerosol can and just spray them. That's Lisa, what you do. That is not what you do. We do not 
advocate violence. Quisha, please don't say things like that. No, 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 Quisha. That is not nice. I'm just saying, when I go to the store, somebody bother me, I'm telling them I'm coming back. I'm coming back with my, you ain't gonna just be messing with me for no reason. I got something for you. Anybody, I never bother me. Quisha got well, it for you. Quisha, <laughs> I hope that no one bothers you. Because I sincerely hope that you don't get yourself arrested or in trouble for any of these things that you're saying here on the show. They're just jokes, ladies and gentlemen. She is joking. She is our comic relief for today, ladies and gentlemen. Just laugh it off. <laughs> All right, we have another person. Uh, this person decided to beat or spank his three children with a belt because one of his kids had passed gas in the car. He didn't know who it was. No one would fess up, so he took off his belt and beat all three of them. They better not do that again, according to this father. What's wrong with that? What you trying to say? You can't beat your kids? Two, you can't be fighting in the car. It's hot. You got to keep the windows up, they bottom, and it's all stank in the car. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> I see it different that from that thing on YouTube. But for real, ain't nobody got time for that. What y'all talking about? You can't beat your kids? Uh, we shall, I think that the... The discussion is that uh, it was inappropriate to beat the kids because of passing of gas. It was not that serious, and uh, he probably beat them and what amounted to abuse. I abuse my kids all the time. They do something wrong, I'll beat Quisha, the kids. calm down, Quisha. Let's calm down. Now, this is a... We don't want to go there, Quisha. Let's just calm, calm down. I'm just saying, Mr. Ingman, you might me out here. I'm going to keep it real. You know, I'm going to keep it real. This is me. I'm real. I'm real. I'm real, 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 real. I'm real. I'm real. I'm real, 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 real. Uh, you're real, yes, you are real, yes, you are authentic, you are wonderful, thank you, and let's, uh, we're, you're providing great comedy for today, ladies and gentlemen, just jokes, just jokes. Thank you, Quisha, for your contribution to here, your contribution to this segment, the In the News segment. Uh, my last story I'm going to do, this guy in Pennsylvania, what an idiot. He's accused of leaving his one-year-old daughter home alone so he could go rob houses. Yes, I said it. He left a one-year-old home alone so that he could burglarize homes. I think that that is just an egregious, egregious thing. And uh, this guy, this guy doesn't have them all. He sounds like a dumbass mate. Quisha, calm down, calm down. Okay, I hear you. Yeah. He gonna go, this fool gonna leave the baby in the car seat, sitting there watching TV while he got robbing people. They go at his house. He's so stupid. What a mama was that? What kind of stupid? This is stupid. This people just so yes, doggone stupid. It, it seems as though uh, they are not making the best decisions. He would leave a one-year-old at home watching TV. That is very interesting. But, as I always say, people do the darndest things. You can't make this stuff up. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to That Is What I'm Talking About. We'll be right back. All right, and we are back to That Is What I Am Talking About. Please hit me up on Twitter at Bob A. Dingleman. Bob A. Dingleman at gmail.com. 1-800-2-CALL-BOB. And uh, any other way that you want to reach me. WDROPDE4445 on your internet drive. Yes, we are worldwide. Here on That Is What I Am Talking About. I am Bob A. Dingleman, and as always, I am a bad. <laughs> today I have Quisha here with me, assisting me today. We're going to talk about relationships, and so Quisha, what do you have to say, just in general, about relationships and your experiences? Well, Mr. Dingleman, I'm just saying, I've been in a lot of relationships with a lot of different people, so I know a lot about relationships. What you supposed to do? What you ain't supposed to do? I'm just telling you. You ain't supposed to be with somebody that go to jail and they don't never get out and just 
be in jail, just chill, chill, chill. And this special mask was just staying away for you all the time. You gonna go to jail? Then go to jail. Don't be, don't be calling, calling me, talking about, send me some money, send me some money. Uh, call me, what you doing? What you got on? You know, who you with? Why are you in the building? Risha, that calm down. Uh huh, I'm sorry. I'm just saying. You know, and then I used to mess with this dude one time. And, you, know, you know, he used to, I used to work. He used to just sit home all day, you know, just drinking and smoking and stuff. I'd come home with cigarette butts everywhere. And, you know, kids in the room. You know what I'm saying? They ain't took no bad thing. He just sent up, you know. Uh, he wasn't no good. He wasn't no good. I told him, I said, You ain't no good. You ain't no good. You know, he just, he ain't kill. You know, he just laid around. He ain't do nothing. So, just, just get you a man with a job, girl. Get you a man with a job, girl. Girl. Girl, get your man with a J O B B B B B B B B. Aha! You think it's important for everyone to contribute in the relationship? Sounds like what you're saying to me, Quisha. That's a good idea. If one person does too much, they feel like they are being taken advantage of. So yes, I I do agree. And hopefully that you left those types of men alone and have found men that are going to really be there for you and help you out. Yeah, I left them fools alone. I, that's why I thought Mike was different. Mike was, you know, he was all right. You know, he had a little job and everything. He had a little car, some rims, and then boom, 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 boom. You know, he had a business car. You know, we used to try to do the hood and everything. I'm like, oh, look at they go, Mike. They go, Mike, and Mike, and Mike, 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 Mike. Please calm down. I'm calm, Mr. Dickman. I'm just saying, you know, I just get excited when I be talking about my Mike, my Mike, my Mike. Okay, anyway, I'm just saying, anybody out there, you got to get you somebody who's going to help you out. And they're going to be good there and there for you. They're going to help you with the light bill and the phone bill and, and the cost and everything. They're going to be trying to use up your food stamp card all the time. All the time, just use your food stamp card, go in the store, buy stuff, and then you ain't got no food at the end of the month for your kids and everything. Don't get nobody like that. They ain't no good. Get you somebody going to help you out. Shoot. That is true, Quisha. That sounds like a good idea. All right. To the phone lines we go with my guest host, Quisha. My first caller is Rick. Rick is a new caller. Rick, how can we help you today here on That Is What I Am Talking About? Hey, Mr. Dingleman. Thank you for letting me come on here. Um, You had helped me out the last time, so I say let me just call back again, and hopefully um, you can help me out again because, you know, uh, I just don't know what to do. All right, Rick. Well, what is what seems to be the problem? Why are you calling us today? Uh, I think the last time you had an issue with your wife. Uh, wh- how did that work out? Well, Miss Dinman, I had went back in the room with her, and that um, man who had went in the room with her, that, that man was my uncle. That was my mama's brother. And um, there was, you know you know what they was doing, Miss Dinman. And I had went in there, and I was watching. My mama was watching. I, you know, what? But what I, what I was supposed to do? I just, she had said, come in the room. I just went in there. My uncle was in there talking about, watch this, boy. This this how you supposed to do it. Your wife had called me and told me, you know, you need some pointers. So I'm here. I'm just trying to help you out, you know, because we family. So he, that's my uncle. So I said, okay, you know, I, I'm watching, you know, and he helped me out. And, you know, but, but I, I ain't really like that, though, Mr. Ding, uh, so, uh, what? Well, <laughs> You know, if, if my uncle come back over there again, you know, what you think I should do? Well, that sounds like a problem. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Your uncle. Wow. This is pretty deep here, Rick. Pretty deep. This ain't no deep. You're stupid, Rick. You're stupid. Oh, uh, Quisha, we did not insult the callers. We are trying to help here, Quisha. So if you don't have any advice, you need to be quiet. <sighs> All right. Um, look, man, Rick. You talking about you walk in the room and your old lady up in the bed with the next man and it's your uncle and she giving it up and you just go watch? Your mama go, that's just nasty. That is nasty. Yeah, it is pretty strange, Rick. I must say, it is pretty strange that that type of thing is going on. I don't know what to say other than that's pretty strange. You might need to separate yourself from some of your family members. Yeah, but um, that, that's my favorite uncle. Growing up, that's my favorite uncle. You know, that's my mama. You know what? What I what I supposed to do? You know. So I guess you're calling in about the overall state of your relationship, or is there something else that you want to talk about? Yeah, um, it's thing, man. Um, so uh, you know, right now they in the room again. My my old lady, my wife, and my uncle, and my mama, 
What? My other cousin in there, he in oh there too. Goodness. What? They just making what? a lot of noise. What? You know, I don't want to go in there. It. Oh my so, God. Uh, what you think I should do? Uh, Rick, um, you might want to sever ties with some of these people who don't have respect about your marital or for your marital relationship. You might want to move and leave those people to themselves because it sounds like they're going to do nothing but cause you problems. What you talking about? Leave? You supposed to go up in there and get some straightening? They up in your house? You pay the bills? They in, in the room? Man, you crazy? You better go in there. What you talking about? You just sitting there? You just hey, you on the phone? What you think I should do? You better go in that room? Yeah, uh, uh, I had, I had, uh, not on the door. And they said, yeah, uh, you know, Wait for a little while. Go come back later. And so uh, I said, you know, because, you know, my shoes in there. I, I'm about to go to work. I got two jobs. And so they say, no, nah, come back later. So I, I got to wear my shoes to work. You know, what you think I should do? What you should do? You should go get your baseball bat and knock that door down and go up in there and get your shoes and get all them at your house. You crazy. That couldn't be me. That could not be me. That ain't sound trifling. How you stay married to her? You crazy. Yes, uh, Rick. It seems as though you are in a bad situation, Rick. You might want to reevaluate uh, your relationship and even the people that are in your home, things like that. Those people mean you nothing but problems, Rick, and it uh, does not sound like a good situation. It sounds like something that could explode and become very problematic going forward. So you might want to really think about the people that you are associated with and your wife. You know, I don't want to tell anyone to get a divorce, but maybe you need some counseling, Rick, because that's... A problem, especially if they don't have respect uh, for you going to work. Yeah, uh, I gotta go to work. But, uh, you know, they ain't not having a good time. I want to have a good time, too. I, shoot, that's my wife. Uh, how about them drawers she be wearing? Why, well, I can't never see them. What you think I should well, do? Well, Rick, I, I told you what you should do as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Quisha is given a different perspective, but I think you got to find the answer and the way that you can do it without getting into trouble because these types of things often end in trouble. I do not advocate domestic violence or violence of any kind, so maybe you want to call the authorities or get some counseling or get a, a, a member of your church or somebody to help you out because it sounds like you're in a really bad situation, Rick, and uh, I don't know. Hey, wait a minute, they, they're calling me. They calling me, huh? I'm finna walk to the room, Mr. Dingman, and you can hear, it, you know. Oh, Rick, I, I don't really want to hear anything uh, of that nature, you know, in, in, on this show. So maybe we are we're gonna let you go. And uh, no, Mr. Dingman, I, I just uh, I just opened the door. I, I looked at her. She looked at me. I looked back at her. She looked back at me. What you think I should do? Rick, we're going to let you go and try to figure that out on your own. Thank you for calling. We appreciate you. Please call again. This is Bobby Dingleman. We'll be right back. We are back on That Is What I Am Talking About. I am Bob A. Dingleman with my guest host, Quisha. Hi, Quisha. Hey, Mr. Dingleman. You people crazy. Rick, Rick, you call me, Rick. They call some of my cousins. Rick, come over there, straighten that up for you, boy. You crazy. You, you, you let it go. Oh, you crazy, man. I don't even want to talk to you because you're stupid. We shall we must refrain from calling people stupid. We must refrain from that. That is not nice. That's not what we're about here on the show. And anyway, we're going to go to another caller. Ah, good. And it's a voice of wisdom, 97 years old. An active caller here. This is the grandma from the Nutty Professor. Grandma, how are you doing today? I'm all right, Mr. Dingleman. Hey, uh, well, I know that, Mr. Dingleman. You know, me and Noah, we kind of got a little thing on the side. Well, I know that. Who? You got a thing on the side with who? Quisha, calm down. Noah is uh, taking a break, and uh, we are going to have guest hosts. And today we're talking about relationships. Noah taking a break. What you did to him, Mr. Dingleman? Who was that little, little heifer you got on who the show? Who you calling heifer? Oh, lady, who are you talking to? You ain't talking to me. You ain't talking ladies, to me. Ladies, ladies, please calm down. We're not going to have violence, okay? 
just calm down. Let's just have a discussion. So, Grandma, you you have a lot of years on you, and you've probably been you've probably been in a lot of relationships. What do you have to add to the discussion? Yeah, Grandma, I've been in plenty of relationships, relationships, and plenty of relations with plenty of people. You should have had Grandma on this show. You should have had Grandma on here being the guest host. I know more about things than this little young guy you got on here right now. You need to have grandma next time you need a guest host. You want somebody to talk about stuff. I know about all kind of relationships with everybody. Now this little young gal right here you got on here. I don't know what she talking about. Don't know her butt from a hole in the ground. Who are you talking to? You ain't talking to me, old lady. You come over here. I'll show you about a hole in the ground. Ladies, let's calm down. Okay, grandma. So share with us some of your wisdom about relationships. And all I know is. Every woman out there, if you want your man happy, you need to take your teeth out. Grandma, no, that's not what we're talking about here. Okay, uh, uh, okay, I, I, I can go with the spirit of what you're saying. If you want to have a good uh, relationship, uh, there are certain things that each of you need to do for the other. Let's say it that way, Grandma. Yeah, all right, Mr. Dangerman, well, I'll say there's certain things that you need to do. Certain things the woman need to do, and certain things the man need to do. And if he don't know how to do it right, then you go to somebody else. Ain't nobody got time for somebody who don't know what they're doing playing down there. Hey, girl, you know, yeah, <laughs> you're right, you're right, girl, you're right, 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 you're right. Alicia, you're calm right, down. Right, right. It's, it's good that you agree with. Grandma here that everybody needs to help out and to know what they're doing. Okay, uh, I can appreciate that. Uh, okay, Grandma, any other sage wisdom that you'd like to leave with our listeners? Yeah, uh, you know, Mr. Dangleman, I'm trying to talk on here, and you keep trying to stop me from talking. So I just want to know, this little young gal you got working for you, she need another job because I got a job opening for her. You got a job for me? Shoot, I, I always want to give me some extra money. Doing what? What you got a job doing? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Grandma, make sure that we keep this clean if you're saying what I think you're saying. Everything about me is clean, Mr. Dingleman. What you trying to say? Look here, gal. What's your name here, gal? My name Quisha. Okay, Quisha. Listen here, Quisha. I said Quisha, not no creature. Quisha. That's what I said. I said Quisha. Anyway. I got a job for you. I got a new business I'm running. And I need young girls who got a little, who body tight and know how to handle their business. Your body tight, gal. Yeah. body tight. I'm the finest thing walking. Who? Linda Dickerman, you better tell her. You better tell her about this booty. Oh, uh, Quisha, I, I will do no such thing about anyone's booty. I'm not talking about booty. We're talking about relationships, Quisha and Grandma. Well, booty? People in relationships, they talk about booty, so we can talk about booty when we talk about relationships. Yeah, Bob, what, what, what's wrong with you? You you scared to talk about booty? What, what's, what, your, your woman ain't breaking you off none lately. You acting like an old punk. Oh, uh, Grandma, I do not appreciate you calling names and talking about me that way. I will not Stand for it. Yeah, Grandma, you can't be talking about Bob. Bob the man. Bob let me on this show. Don't be, you ain't going to be talking about Bob. No, I'm saying here, Grandma, because you're going to have to deal with me. You, you ain't going to be talking about Bob. Look here, young girl. I was dealing with girls like you all my life. You keep running your mouth. I'm going to come up there and split you to the white split man. me? Hey, look, you come over here, Grandma old lady. You talking about that hole in the ground. I'm going to put you in the hole in the ground. You're going to split right, this me. Is, this is just turning into the Jerry Springer show, and I, I just won't have this. You're going to put me in a hole in the ground. Look, girl, I will beat your mother. Grandma, no, we do not have that kind of language. Beat me? Mother, what? Grandma, look here, lady, I'm tired of this. You want to come up here? You come on up here, Grandma. Cause I don't care about you because you old. I'll whip your right, ass. This is, this is uh, going on far, far long enough. I'll not have this kind of talk or this kind of discussion. So, Quisha, I'm going to put you on mute here. And, Grandma, we thank you for calling. We appreciate your call. When you're calmed down and want to talk sensibly... Please call again. This is Bobby Dingleman. We'll be right back. All 
right, we are back. We are here talking about relationships. Appreciate it calming down. Sip on some water or some tea. And I uh, got the Reverend on the line. Rev, how are you doing today? Welcome to that. Talking about with my guest host, Prisha. I'll show you back in a moment. This is Rev. Goldstein. You having a show about relationships, and you ain't got the Rev as the guest host. I need to be the guest host. The Rev no more about relationship. This little young girl you got on here. She ain't been around the world messing with all kinds of girls in every city and every state. Uh, pros and different area codes. Reverend, you are a reverend talking about pros and different area codes. Reverend, what do you know about that? I don't even understand why you would I'm say I'm just that. saying, Mr. Dingham and the Rev ain't always been a reverend. The Rev know about how things go around the world and everywhere with relationships. I'm a Rev. I counsel uh, couples all the time about things in their relationship. So I think you should have me on here talking about relationship. Well, Mr. Reverend, uh, perhaps we will use you going forward uh, uh, during, an, during another show for uh, a, as a guest host. So let's uh, impart some of your wisdom about relationships and what you've learned along the way. Well, the real know that in relationships, oftentimes it is the woman who always effort Reverend. messing things up, Mr. Dingman, the woman, she do not like to listen and do what she told, and if she did that, then everything would be all um, right. Reverend, uh, listen and do what she's told. A woman, uh, women are equal partners in relationships. Why would you say that? That is, that is that's hateful and harmful to a relationship for a woman to do what she's told like, like she's well, a child. the Reverend, that's what you know that, look, the Bible say that women, the man is the head of the house, and the woman recognize that and do what she's supposed to do and how she's supposed to do it, then everything would be all right. And stop trying to be the boss and tell the man what to do and nagging all the time. Just say whack, 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 and I whack, 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 and I whack, and I whack, 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 and I whack, 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 whack. I I can understand what you're saying, but you're saying that she needs to just do what she's told and and everything would be all right. That's a bit much. Yeah, that's a bit much. What you trying to say? What you trying to say? Do what she told, like we children. Ain't nobody no children. Oh, ain't somebody gonna do that too? If you bringing out that cash, you know what I'm saying? You pay the cost of me the boss, then I just be quiet. But you ain't got no money. You what? Who? It's my house. I'm paying the bills. You gonna tell me what to do? You ain't gonna make me cook and clean. You just gonna sit there and smoke all day? Calm down. Calm down. But your point is well taken. Well, the rebel don't know what she talking about over there. This little young girl don't know nothing about nothing, Miss Dingleman. You need to have the rep on here right now. When people call in for me to advise them, that caller you had earlier, when he talk about how the people in the in the room and watching his woman, I, he need to call back, and I need to know his address. I need to go to that house and help him out in that situation. So he need to call you and give you his address. How the rep want to go around there? All right, Reverend. Uh, well, he's heard, and so if uh, if he chooses to do that, that's on him. But, uh, hmm, interesting, Reverend, that you're offering your services. That's pretty nice of you. That is right. When the Reverend hear about things like that going on, the Reverend want to get there. He want to see it for himself to be able to see where he can join, I mean, help out and, and, and make everything all right. Well, Reverend, that's pretty nice of you to offer that once again. Uh, okay, we're up against a break. Reverend, is there anything else that you'd like to uh, share with our listeners here today on our talk about relationships? Yeah, Mr. Dingleman, before I go, I want you to know that everybody needs to come to the church of mine if they want counseling on their relationship. That is the Redeemer on high who looks down low. And if you don't act right, you know where you're going to go. Church and corporate, uh, excuse me, church yes, and corporate. You got yourself a free plug there. You got a free plug for your church. So, uh, so uh, you're offering your counseling services obviously for free. Well, we we can talk about that at the Redeemer on high, who looks down low, and if you don't act right, you know where you gonna go straight to hell, Reverend. Oh goodness, Reverend. Uh, thank you for calling in, Reverend. We appreciate you calling in. Please call again. This is Bobby Dingleman here. We're talking about relationships, and we're not through. Please join us the next time when we continue this discussion about relationships. Once again, I am Bobby.
bad. <laughs> the fictional characters on this show are based on real life events. These characters are owned and created by Golden Ears Entertainment in partnership with the Jimmy Williams Show. All rights reserved.